Much like creating a good written story requires planning and a basic understanding of story structure, crafting a compelling visual story also requires planning and a basic understanding of film structure. In this module, we'll introduce basic elements of film structure. You'll be asked to demonstrate an understanding by matching each element of film structure with its analogous text classification component. Then you'll have a chance to practice identifying shots and scenes before taking a quiz to complete the module. Before we get started, make sure that you've downloaded the PDF guide to elements of film structure. And don't forget that you control the pace of your learning. You can pause, rewind, and rewatch any portion of this video as much as you wish. So let's get started by defining a few basic elements of film structure. Every time you press record, then stop, that's a shot. It's an uninterrupted take by the camera. Shots can last anywhere from several seconds to several minutes. Here's another shot from a different angle. Now let's go to one more angle for a new shot. If we put a group of shots together, we can make a scene. A scene is a group of shots that take place at a specific location and time. Now let's add a couple new shots. So we now have a total of five shots. But how many scenes do we have? Remember that scenes take place at a specific time and location. Anytime the location or time changes, you have a new scene. Take a look at all five shots together and see if you can identify how many scenes we have. So our example has a total of five shots and two scenes. So several shots make up a scene. Several scenes make up what's called a sequence. And several sequences make up a film. It might be easier to understand these elements by comparing them to elements of text classification that you're already familiar with. Think of shots as sentences. A group of shots make up a scene, much like a group of sentences make up a paragraph. Several scenes make up a sequence, much like several paragraphs make up a chapter. And much like the way several sequences make up a film, several chapters make up a novel. Now that you've been introduced to the basic elements of film structure, you can move on to the next lesson, where you'll get some practice identifying shots. Registered learners, don't forget to click the Complete Lesson button at the bottom of the lesson page to track your progress. This video is part of an online introductory course in basic video production. You can access more videos and course resources at edtechpix.org.